Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I'm so happy to be here with Christopher Melcher, attorney at law. Welcome back, Christopher. Well, thanks for having me, Andy. Uh, I was kind of hoping this week we'd, we'd be able to talk about something else, but it just keeps coming. Oh, it keeps coming, and there's more coming. In fact, today we were, yesterday rather, we were talking about the ratings on Dateline being the lowest of the show's season, which I know a lot of Johnny fans were excited about, but also just fans of justice. Why do we keep paying this woman to be out there? Well, apparently someone else is planning to pay her. She's allegedly working on inking a multi-million dollar deal to release a revenge tell-all book, but experts are saying she'd be hit with another defamation suit and end up right back in court. Uh, again, this is coming from OK Magazine. I don't always trust them. They're very gossipy, so take it with a grain of salt. However, I wouldn't put it past Amber at all. Uh, here's what the source to OK said. Amber considers her career in Hollywood over. She's already in talks and is excited about it. At this point, she has nothing to lose and wants to tell all, a source said. Uh, now, Christopher, I, at this point, I, nothing surprises me, but y this would not be a good move for her legally, correct? This would really be pushing her limits to the to the edge, and, and I would imagine potentially finally prompt Johnny and team to be like, all right, enough inju injunction or whatever the words are to really stop her. What, what are your thoughts on the risks here for Amber? Well, I'm, I'm wondering... Um who is she going to talk about? We were assuming from that quote that it's Johnny, but maybe it's going to be somebody else. Ooh, Elon. And, you know, Ooh. I mean, the thing is, is that she's done so much talking about Johnny on the witness stand. She was, it seemed like three, almost three days that she was on the stand and under cross-examination. And so what else would she have left to talk about Johnny Depp? Mm. So maybe she's going to be talking about somebody else and oh, maybe God. this is the subtle way of getting some money yes. from that other person not to oh. talk. Uh, Bro, I was, you, I did, I, that's why I love Christopher. He's already, I, how did I miss that? You're totally right. This is probably a rumored plan of like Elon, James, all the other people we don't know about. Uh, <laughs> do you want me to shut up or not? Because I need money. What an interesting play. And I, that makes me even more think this is more believable because you're right. She's probably got a lot of stories of people she could exploit. And if they hear her doing this, uh, hey, Amber, uh, haven't talked in a while. What's up? <laughs> Is yeah. there is there a like I mean to tell all books like allow you to have a little bit more freedom is like she is it, will this cause legal jeopardy for her? Well, it depends. You know, like we know with Johnny Depp's situation, there's a non disparagement clause in their divorce judgment from 2016 that said we're not going to say bad things about each other even if they're true. Johnny didn't sue for that for whatever reason. He could still sue, but it's very difficult. Like at this point in time, what what, what else could he really do? Because he's already has an, a net judgment of eight point three five million against her that she has no hope of ever paying. Now, if she does get this book deal, Johnny Depp could go to uh, to uh, kind of try and collect his money from the proceeds of that book deal. So that's a potential that he could grab onto. He could potentially do a an injunction people have talked about, but that is extremely rare, a huge long shot. So these other folks, if she's planning on talking about them or kind of threatening to talk about them, it would depend on whether she has a non-disclosure, non-disparagement agreement with them. Sometimes we see, and and I've done this, in my practice, if I have a celebrity client that's engaging in a dating relationship with somebody, we kind of come out with the NDA cohab agreement right from the beginning right. and saying, you know, hey, this is getting more serious. Here's the form. Please sign this. Uh, or certainly in a breakup, uh, we may see that happening also. So she may already have some of those in place. But the problem is, is that if they don't, if they're not conditioned on future payments, there's really nothing you can do about it. So if it says, hey, don't talk about me and I will pay you annually this sum, well, if she talks about that person, then the payments can stop. But if she's already got the consideration, the money, then she's just going to talk and what are they going to do? They're not. She's broke. It's so scary, too. Exactly. The people set this up and she can just keep doing whatever she wants without any real consequence. She's not she's probably not even going to pay a dime. I mean, she's now also planning to do this appeal. Uh, and then she's convinced she'll win. There's a quote from one of her sources here to Us Weekly saying she's going to take it all the way to the Supreme Court. I mean, this is all nonsense, right? There's, does she, she has no case. 
Well, well, she really, I mean, she has some arguments like anybody can have arguments and anybody can file an appeal. But um, you look at appeals statistically, like almost all of them are lost. Uh, it's extraordinarily difficult to win an appeal because the appellate court, this higher kind of supervisory court, it's not a retrial. It's not like, hey, what do you think? Do you like Amber's evidence? No, it's a very narrow inquiry where they have to defer to the jury and the judge on most things. And they're really only looking for gigantic legal errors. So it, it's there and there aren't any gigantic legal errors. There's no perfect trial. So she can always argue, I should have gotten my therapy notes in and all this nonsense. That's not a good ground for an appeal. So she can file an appeal. She's going to most likely lose that. And this is just her basically trying to say, I got a raw deal and allows her to talk about the case with some coverage because there's this thing called a litigation privilege in Virginia and most states that allow you to talk about a pending court case. Mm -hmm. And so as long as she's saying, I am going to appeal, I'm going to file these motions, that gives her the right to talk about it and saying, this is why I'm doing this and it keeps her from being sued again, some protection. Well, and, and apparently maybe even write, have written a book. Maybe that does that fall in uh, all that's that's interesting. If she has an ongoing case she, that she's referring to, that's something that can potentially help her legally. Yeah, so she, that's right. If, if the case is still pending and that would include on appeal. So if she files the appeal, the case is still technically pending in the court and she would have a right to talk about the pending court proceedings. Now, that wouldn't give her the right to talk about somebody who's unrelated to the proceedings or something about Johnny that's unrelated, but there's really nothing in their relationship between Amber and Johnny that would be unrelated to the case. I mean, the nature of that case basically made everything that happened between the two of them relevant. Interesting, man. Uh, it's just getting crazier and crazier. As we hope this is ends, it doesn't seem to be ending anytime soon. Uh, yeah. So, all right. So she's going to plan all this. It seems I, uh, Johnny's it feels like he's moved on as he's said he's moving on and this is going to be hard to do. Uh, I, I, it just seems like we're never really going to get an end. She's even sort of said it in her interview, like, I will do this to my dying day. Uh, are you surprised that Amber's just resorting to this? No, I mean, we, you know, some people have made the analogy to, to Jesse Smollett and, you know, we, we remember that verdict and we remember how he reacted to it and he did successfully get himself out of jail Give, give him and his lawyers a lot of credit for pulling that off. But at this point, the guy, that guy, he's an oddity. He's a footnote in history. And it wasn't that long ago, honestly. Yeah. Remember, and we're like, oh, he appealed and he got, he got out of jail and he did all this stuff. And okay, nobody that I know of is saying that he's innocent, innocent or something no. like that. So, you know, he, he, had his, he had his day in court. He lost. And everyone other than him has moved on. And so I think you fast forward a couple months, maybe even a couple weeks um, in this story, and we're going to be on to the next one. And Amber's going to be stuck, unfortunately, like she's committed to in her interview for the rest of her life, believing or saying these same things that she did on the stand that, that the jury rejected. I mean, it's interesting because in order to have the appeal, I would feel like you need to have something big. And, and uh, Daniel Black Belt Barrister actually did a video, which I spotlighted for him yesterday. But it was a fascinating thing I missed because Amber keeps saying, oh, well, the jury, the jury was out of it. Right, Christopher? They were clearly on social media. They were clearly doing their research and it wasn't a fair trial. But Daniel went back and pulled the clip where Camille was pushing her saying, you know, who was who was the one who was more, you know, hurt in the relationship online. And Amber literally said, look, us, look it up. See, look up online and see who was more, you know, hurt online. She literally told the jury to look her up. <laughs> I mean, yep. it was a pretty damning reveal. And I was like, I forgot she, she really did do that. Which then the hindsight of seeing Elaine and Amber constantly blame the jury for looking things up. They told her to. And again, which I think you brought it up, like, if they looked her up, they, they could look up Amber's so-called mountain of evidence that didn't come in yeah. just as much as Johnny's mountain of evidence. So this whole excuse is just, I think, blowing up in her face from a rationality uh, point of view, right? Well, there's there's no evidence that the, any juror went on social media. The, the statement that um, that ABC got from this juror right. uh, said they didn't. So, you know, the only thing we have to go on is that they didn't. And we would assume, and the court would assume, that they, they honored their oath. They were told every day not to do this. But you're right. Amber said, yeah, look it up. I think even Amber's expert 
the one of the guys on the damages said, hey, if you Google this or whatever. So right. it's kind of what we call invited error. And um, but, yeah, it's been pointed out if you uh, if, if you didn't know anything about this case and you Googled it, you would come across the English judgment. And that thing is whatever. It's like 500 paragraphs of of why Johnny is wrong and Amber's right uh, or the son was right. And so why wouldn't the jury be swayed by that? So it, it's it's all nonsense. She's not going to win on any of this. But uh, June 24th, uh, I believe, is the deadline to file post-judgment motions. So that's not the appeal because that goes to the higher court. But back to Judge A, June 24th deadline to say, hey, I didn't get a fair trial. And that could include juror misconduct. So we may see her file something like that. But again, based on what I've seen, not a chance. She can file whatever she wants, right? You just pull up a Word document and type words and file it with the court. So it's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, well, the thing to be afraid of are all the people that uh, she's potentially threatening with this tell-all book, uh, which I didn't even think of. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with Christopher's take there? Because I do. That just made this seem way more realistic of what a... Because she's so brilliant like that. People don't want to say she's smart. She's more diabolical, whatever word you want to use. But she knows what she's doing. And she's very calculated, in my opinion, and yeah, what an interesting way to, again, revenge tell all. We're all immediately thinking Johnny, but you're right. Anybody else who's out there with Amber, who maybe has a secret with Amber, will see that headline and go, oh crap, she's going to start talking about me next, uh, which then could prompt pay, pay up, pay up. Uh, ooh, again, a let, speculating here, <laughs> speculation warning on screen. Uh, but man, what a, what a good uh, thought there, which uh, I'm glad we got to talk about. Uh, always a pleasure to have you here, sir. Make sure you guys follow Christopher Melcher over on Twitter and YouTube. He's all over there. Uh, but you follow his threads on Twitter. He's been doing some great work and always a pleasure to have him. Thank you for being here, sir. Thanks, Andy. We'll be back with more. Make sure you've hit the subscribe button here. Hit the button. Hit the bell for all alerts so you get notified. Otherwise, you won't. Smash the like button so it gets uh, spread out. It's engagement. And leave a comment down below to help get the word. And what your thoughts are. What do you think's going on here? Do you think she's writing this book? Or is this just another scare tactic? Want to hear your thoughts. And make sure to join us live today. We'll be out live around 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today. See you guys then.